What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I will be taking a look at Mist, a new puzzle game. Although it's not really that new because this is yet another iteration of the classic game from 1993, I think. And yeah, this is a puzzle game where you uh, wander around um, an island, you know, solving puzzles and stuff. You know, this is one of these games where you are being thrown into like a mysterious world and you don't know who you are, you don't know what you're doing there, why you're there and what you should do, right? And you're kind of walking around trying to solve uh, puzzles and, you know, to pe to put pieces of, uh, pieces of the puzzle together. So this is an interesting game because this is one of those games that on Xbox Series X at least, and I'm playing that game on Xbox Series X, is using both ray tracing and uh, FSR, so um, super resolution. Um, so there's actually some settings there where you can actually choose between performance mode and normal mode, where if you choose performance mode, um, it will turn off some features like ray tracing in order to increase your frame rate. Now, I played this game a little bit already and there's no frame rate dips in this game, to be honest with you, even without performance mode. So I'll just stick, I'll, I'll just play the normal mode. starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Okay, so you can walk around. Yeah, so there's a lot of puzzle solving, um, which is a no surprise. Um, so let's check the graphics first. Now, You can, if you press the left analog, analog stick, uh, you can run, so that's better because then it's much faster because walking is just bloody slow, so I'll be running around. Um, graphics looks good. Like I said, this game is using FSR, so uh, F IMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which means that the game renders at lower resolution internally, but then it gets upscaled to 4K using some smart algorithm. And I must say that it really looks good. It looks very clean. Um, if I look at the, even the trees and stuff, uh, usually that kind of details shows artifacts and stuff. That's not the case over here. Uh, a lot of times you see the artifacts on the grass. That's not the case here either. Um, the game looks actually sharper when you don't move. It blurs, blurs out a little bit uh, on a move, but not by much, to be honest with you. You really have to really pay attention to it like, like that. So, yeah. Game looks good. And it actually runs smooth as well 60 frames per second no frame rate dips so far so so far so good and um, this game is uh, all about uh, puzzle solving um, so obviously like I said there's no hints nothing like that um, the only thing annoying about this game is that this game has been made for mouse and keyboard and you really have to it's difficult to aim 
in those small details like these buttons and stuff it's annoying as hell it's much easier to do with mouse and keyboard of course but um, I'm not sure if it supports mouse and keyboard okay so you can switch so 40 47 67 It will change. There we go. So I guess it. It. Um, I don't know. It suggests that I need to turn these on or no. But anyway, um, if we go to if we change it to forty, of course it will show something else. Yeah, and see, this is like annoying. It's. This game has been made with for mouse and keyboard. Oh, it's a mountain. Anyway, not sure what's that all about, but the game looks good. And um, if you have a choice, and I would recommend you playing it on PC, to be honest with you, with mouse and keyboard. I mean, I wonder if you can actually connect controls. No, I don't see any mouse and keyboard option. <laughs> yeah, so apparently we need to turn these on. Um, like I said, I played this game a little bit this morning. That's number two. That's number three. I think there's seven of them. That's number four. See? Yeah, it's it's much easier to control with mouse and keyboard. I mean, trying to press all these small buttons and stuff, right? Number five, number six, number seven. <clears throat> there we go. The game looks good, um, um, I must say. By the way, the only thing I notice is that there's a little bit of artifacting on the water um, with shadows. If you look over here, uh, there's some artifacts over there near the lines at the bottom, right? But minor thing minute nothing major okay so now so this thing controls the elevator which you will find apparently here see it's annoying as hell so this will shut the main door, but will open away. Yeah, the um, actually the details, you know, like these small details, it looks really good. Yeah, there's an elevator over here, so let's just enter it. Because why not? <clears throat> Close the door. Library. It actually says where you go, so I'll, I'll, I'll show something. If we go back to that um, map over here and we see, an, and we point it to another place and we go back to. No, actually, it's, uh, it shows the same. Okay, I lied. I thought that it would tell you something different anyway. <laughs> but it will take you to different places, so...
Now this is a this is a game where uh, when you've got some you need to have a pen and paper or basically a phone to make uh, pictures. <coughs> There's a lot of stuff that you will have to write down t in order to progress with other puzzles later. There's different keys over here. Oh, there's some doors there. Okay, nothing here. Yeah, so basically uh, we need to write this down or just make a picture with your phone or something, right? And that's what I'll do. Okay, picture made. Now we need to go back and see it shows us that we are in the tower now. Go down. It actually takes quite a while to figure this stuff out. Um, there we go. Let's go back. There's another key. And again, we need to make a picture of it or screenshot something. And. Oh, forgot. See, uh, <laughs> on my first playthrough, I was actually confused. I couldn't use that elevator. I was fr frustrated because. You know, I just I just thought that all I have to do is press the button, but in order to actually for the for the elevator to move, I had to close the the doors. The uh, there's a lot of backtracking, that's for sure. See, another key. Now, I'm not sure if, if in your playthrough the keys would, will be the same. Uh, I, I wouldn't think they would be, I don't think they will be identical, but... Open the door. And again. Okay, it will take us to this location. <laughs> yeah, so some people may say it's boring, but um, I think the um, the process of like figuring all this stuff out is actually 59 volts. <laughs> is actually because uh, then there will be puzzles later on down the uh, in the game where you will need the, all that information basically in order to progress 
Okay, so I think we 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 are done here. So, um, see, it's so difficult to. It's annoying. It is annoying. I can tell you that. So yeah, um, <laughs> um, so first of all, um, I'm sure you've noticed that like there was some dates with some times and stuff. So I think we need to set it up over here. But before I do that, um, we need to go over here, if I'm not mistaken, because there is a huge generator. No, no, it wasn't here, sorry. Where was it? Ah, I think I know where it is. Um, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I think it was here. There it is. There's a huge generator over here. And we need to... Um, I think that, that one of the puzzles was actually suggesting 60... Si oh. It was 59 volts. So I think... Uh, No, that won't work. Sixty-nine. Hold on. Um, power, power to ship. Generate the switches. Okay, let's try again. Can I reset it? It's kind of lame. I'm just curious. Because we need to set it to 64. Seven, right? 67 if I'm not mistaken. So that's 5. That's 9. That's 28. 50. Fifty-eight. No, that's too much. That's too much. How did that go? Mm. 
that's too much. How about I disable that? Okay, that's 67, so why that's not working? It's kind of... Yeah, why well, that's not doing anything. <coughs> well, anyway, guys, I will need to uh, figure that out, stuff out. So I had that set up to 67, but that still didn't work. But um, yeah, I mean, that's the game for you, basically. There we go, 67, still not working. Yeah, so I will need to figure out what's going on here. Um, but anyway, that's the that's the game, that's the video. Um, it's all about uh, solving puzzles and stuff. And um, yeah, it's probably going to take a while. I wonder if there's a, if there's a reset button or something, I don't know, anyway. So that's the video, guys. Thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.